Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD, and yes, uh, I finally, or my office finally received a Surface Pro 3, and the first thing as a system and network administrator, the first thing that you have to do is what? You got to back it up, or you have to find some way how to deploy a custom image to it, right? So that means I had to configure my MDT 2013 uh, to get it up and running to support Surface Pro 3. Now, Surface Pro 3 doesn't have an Ethernet port, so you can't pixie boot. Well, you could, but that means you have to get an, a, an additional accessory, like a USB to Ethernet. Or you could create a bootable media, like a USB flash drive, right? And plug it into your Surface Pro and then boot from that, and then you're good to go. So these are the steps that I've done so far. Now, I'm running a MDT 2013 server uh, on top of uh, Windows Server 2012 uh, machine, okay? So that's that's my environment. And this MDT server is the one that I have been using for the past couple of MDT tutorials that I did for you guys. Uh, now, the first thing that you need to do is get a bunch of drivers, okay? So I'm gonna provide the links at the bottom of the video at the comment section or the description section. Uh, you need to get the Surface software, firmware, and drivers. Okay, now this right here gives you a bunch of drivers. They give you the firmware, Ethernet adapter, the gigabit uh, Ethernet adapters, Surface Pro 1, 2, and 3, uh, everything. They give you everything. So you just download the ones that you need, and because those are the ones that you need for your particular device. For me, I needed to download the Ethernet adapter, okay, the Surface Gigabyte, uh, Gigabit Ethernet adapter. And because I have a Surface Pro 3, uh, I actually downloaded the Surface Pro 3 uh, 1505.19, okay? So those are the three that I downloaded. Now, you also need to get your hands on a KB. Uh, this KB is the quick note taking experience feature for Windows 8.1. From my understanding, Surface Pro uh, 3 uh, only supports Windows 8.1 64-bit enterprise or professional edition, okay, guys? And once you get the, that KB and those zip files, and then you extract those zip files somewhere so you can find them, it is time to get your MDT server up and running. So I'm going to open up my MDT server node. I'm going to actually close up the browser, close this browser up because I don't need it. Again, those links are going to be provided at the description part so you guys can grab a copy of that. And the first thing that you need to do is get yourself a copy of Windows 8.1. Uh, x64 enterprise or professional import it inside your mdt node this is real self-explanatory i've done videos on this for you guys so go check them out if you don't know how to import an operating system inside the node the next thing that you need to do is uh, go inside your out of box driver uh, so i created a folder called windows 81 update inside that folder i created another folder called x64 and inside that folder i created a another additional folder called Surface Pro 3. Now, this folder has to be called Surface Pro 3, okay? Now, all those drivers that we downloaded, the zip, and you extract them, start importing them. So right-click, import the drivers, go to Browse, and wherever you extracted those three downloads or whatever amount of downloads that you downloaded from the Surface firmware and drivers, you need to locate them and then import them into the Surface Pro 3 folder that we created. So right now, as you can see, I have a Surface Pro and these are my folders right here. These are all the all the stuff that I extracted, right? I'm not gonna import them because I already have them in there. Once you have all that stuff up and running, you're almost done, almost. The next thing that you wanna do once your drivers are imported inside your out-of-box node, you want to go inside the advanced configuration and selection profiles. Now, I created a selection profile just for the Surface Pro 3 drivers. So it's real easy. You just right click, new selection profile, give it a name, go to next, and just locate your out of box drivers, which would be this guy right here. It's going to select everything, okay? So I'm going to cancel that because I already created one. I created one called Surface Pro 3 because it's self explanatory. It makes sense. That's what those that profile is all about you know drivers for the surface pro 3 device next thing that we need to do is import the update now the kb that i mentioned earlier we need to import that inside our package node so just right click import an os package locate that package again i placed everything inside a folder called surface and there it goes and i'm gonna and i just import it okay 
and you're almost done, all right? Just stick with me. Now, next thing that you need to do once your package is already imported is create a task sequence. So within the task sequence, you're gonna right click, create a new task sequence, give it a name, a, a sequence ID, all that stuff, click next. It's gonna be a standard client task sequence. Specify the OS, click on next. You don't have to specify a key right now. Uh, give it a full name, organization, and website. Click next. Give it an admin password. Click next. Click next. And then you're done. Now, I already created one, so I'm going to delete the one that I just did with you guys. There you go. Finish. And for this particular one, uh, my task ID, I actually called it Build Wim 81 Enterprise Update X64. Okay, that's the, the sequence ID. Task sequence name, you can give it any name you want, but I called it Build 8.1 Enterprise Update X64 Reference Image. Now, the task sequence is where you need to get into and configure something. So you need to go inside the pre-installed node, go into the inject drivers, and make sure that you choose your Surface Pro 3 profile. And also make sure that install all drivers from the selection profile is selected. Okay. By default, this is what you're going to see. That's what you're going to see, guys. Okay. By default. But I need you to go is go inside the drop down. Select your profile that you created with all the Surface Pro stuff. Click on install all drivers from the selection profile and then hit apply. Now, next thing that we need to do is modify the unintended.xml file. Now, the reason that we're doing this is because uh, there's an additional prompt during the OOBE uh, to join wireless network. And if the wireless driver is not available, you're going to have problems during the boot time. So we need to actually uh, configure that on the unintended. So to do that within the task sequence, you want to go into the OS info. You want to click on edit unintended.xml file. Now, I need you guys to be really patient because it's not going to be this fast for you guys. It takes a while for it to create this XML file for you. Now, once it's up and running, we need to get into the OOBE system node. And I'm going to open this up a little bit. And the one that we want to go is the AMD 64 Microsoft Windows Shell Setup Neutral. And expand that. And we want to get into the OOBE. Now, within the OOBE node, there's a parameter or a setting that says hide window, hide wireless setup in OOBE. You want to set that to true. Okay. We don't want that to be prompted up. We want to make this installation as seamless and automated as possible. Now, the next thing is that with the OEM images that ship with the Surface Pro 3, is actually configured to show the power option or the power button on the start screen. Uh, if you do a new install, by default, the power button is not going to pop up. It's by design. So it's something that you actually have to go inside your unintended XML file and configure. So the way that you do it is you click on the parent of this node where we just configured our OOBE. Just click on it. And you're going to see the option of show power button on start screen. Just set that to true. By default, you won't see anything here. So just set it true. Once you configure your unintended XML file, we want to do is go to file and save the answer file, and then we need to close it. And then just press OK. Now, the next thing that you want to do is what I actually did. I don't, know, I don't know if you guys want to do this or not, but if you want to configure the default display resolution, uh, because the Surface Pro 3, its default resolution is actually 2160 by 1440. So if you want to do that by default, uh, you can right click on your MDT node, go to Properties, go to Rules, and within the priority, you want to equal model. By default, you're going to see default. You want to add model, comma, default. Okay. And then go all the way in the bottom. And I added uh, the attribute of the model, which would be Surface Pro 3. X resolution is going to be 2160. And Y resolution is going to be 1440. And then we're going to press OK. Once all that's completed, you want to right click on your node, update your deployment share, click next, 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 and let it update. And then you're almost good to go. Now, again, if you're running WDS, uh, go inside your WDS server, go inside your boot images, right click and replace each one, restart your WDS. And if your Surface Pro device has a USB to Ethernet, you could pixie boot by, I believe, uh, shut, if you shut down the device, you hold down the volume down button and then press the power button. 
and when you see the Surface logo, you should be able to Pixie boot. Now, if you don't have an Ethernet or uh, USB to Ethernet uh, adapter, uh, you probably want to create a USB. So, so we're gonna close our WDS. Okay, so before we start, we create our media so we could do a USB bootable device. We need to go into our selection profile. So I'm gonna right click, create a new selection profile right here, and I'm gonna give it uh, Surface Pro 3 full uh, full profile. Okay. Now the reason why I'm creating this is because I'm gonna show you guys right now. So we're gonna click on next, and what I want to do is I want to pick the operating system, and also you want to pick the out of the box drivers right here. Okay. And you want to pick your task sequence. Once you pick your task sequence, we're going to click on next, click on next, and it's going to create our profile. So now our profile uh, is actually talking to only Windows 8.1 operating system, uh, the task sequence, and our out-of-the-box Surface Pro 3 stuff. So we're going to press OK. Now we're going to go inside our media node. We're going to right-click, go to new media, and we're going to go to browse, and I believe I have uh, a folder already on the C drive that I want to drop this stuff into. So we're going to go in here. I got something in here, so I'm going to delete this because I don't want that in there. And we're going to go into computer, C. I don't recommend you putting this in the C drive at all. Now, from here, you want to select your profile. So it would be the one that we created with full profile. So it has the operating system, the task sequence, as well as the Surface Pro 3 drivers, out-of-box drivers, right? So click on next. Click on next. It's going to do its thing, hit finish. And within the media, there it goes. Only the Surface Pro 3 full profile. We're going to right click. We're going to go to properties. Now we don't want to generate a 86 boot image because again, Surface Pro 3 only supports 64 bit. So it doesn't make any sense for us to create 86. So we're going to create a 64 bit only and go to rules. You can modify this if you want. Again, this is my first time creating a MDT uh, surface environment. So I have to do a little bit more research. Eventually, I'm going to be making more videos for you guys uh, how to configure this part a little bit more. The Windows PE, uh, the 64 bit, just make sure that uh, you could change the name if you want any drivers. Right now, I only want uh, this is really up to you selection profile. So I'm actually going to do all the drivers. Okay, for the 64-bit, I want the selection profile to pick the Surface Pro 3 drivers only. You don't want everything. Okay, and then we're going to apply. Okay, and then we're going to right-click, and then we're going to update our media content. Now, this process takes a while. Hopefully, you guys saw my other videos, how to create a USB media boot using Rufus. Uh, it's the same process. You take the ISO, put your USB, make sure it's large enough to uh, install all the content from the ISO. And then that's it, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this video. I will be posting up much more dealing with MDT and Surface uh, as soon as I get a, an actual device to play around with. Again, it was one of those things off the bat. The device came in, had to configure it, and I had to give it to the, 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 the big boss man uh, because he was expecting it at the end of the day. So it wasn't one of those things that I had time to play around with for you guys. Uh, but again, this is what I had to do for my NDT environment. Hopefully, uh, you guys enjoy. Leave comments right below if you have any uh, questions. Uh, don't forget about hitting that like button because it does support the video as well as this guy. And I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.